It's Kylie and Sabella. And we are excited to be with you this week. We are starting a new series called The Armour of God. Fantastic. We are going to be learning about the pieces of armour that God has given us so that we can stay protected and so that we can defeat evil. Now, even though you can't see these pieces of armour that God has given us, they are very real and they're very useful. Now, can you remember Sabella, and maybe you remember at home, what one of our special scuppets was called? Winston. Winston, that's right. We are going to have a look at Winston and we're going to dress him up with the special pieces of armour. Are you ready to have a look? Sabella, are you ready to show everybody Winston? Yes. Okay, bring him up. Oh, here's Winston. Now you will notice that he has some special pieces of armour at the side. Let's count how many pieces. Are you ready? You One, count. two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces of armour. That's right. Now, I'm going to explain to you what each one does. Are you ready? Make sure you're listening. The first piece of armour we're going to put on is the belt of truth. Can you show us where the belt of truth is, Sabella? goes around our waist. Yes. We can put our own belt of truth on by reading the Bible and doing what it says. Next, we have the breastplate of righteousness. Can you please put that on, Winston? The breastplate of righteousness protects our hearts and it gives us the strength to do what is right. Now, the next pieces that we're going to put on are the shoes of peace, one for each foot. Can you put those on, Sabella? The shoes of peace help us to remember that everything will be okay in the end because God loves us and he will always be with us. Now, can everybody repeat after me? God is always with us. God is always with us. Perfect. Now, the next piece of armour protects us too, and this is the shield of faith. Can you put the shield of faith in Winston's arm, please? The shield protects us when we trust God. We can trust God when we believe in him and everything he tells us in the Bible. The next piece is called the helmet of salvation. Now, where does that helmet usually go? Head. On your head, that's right. Can you put that on Winston's head? The helmet protects our heads and faces. Just like you might wear a helmet at home when you go bike riding or scootering, this helmet for Winston and for us also protects our heads and faces and even our minds and what we're thinking and imagining. When we tell God that we are sorry for the bad things we have done, and when we choose to believe in him, we can have the helmet of salvation too. Now, our last piece of armour is the sword of the spirit. Can you put it in Winston's hand? This piece of armour helps us to defeat all evil and bad things. God wants us to make the right choices in our lives. He wants us to do what is good. We can make the right choices by doing what God wants us to do and by only listening to him. We can do this by reading the Bible with our families and then doing what God says. God loves us so much. That is why he talks about the armor of God in the Bible. He promises to protect us and to always be with us. Thank you, Sabella, for helping me with Winston's armour. Doesn't he look handsome? <laughs> he does. Now, the same armour that Winston is wearing, God wants us to wear every day. And in the coming weeks, we're going to learn more and more about them. Now, we are going to do something exciting next. What are we going to do? Dancing. We're going to do some singing and dancing. And we are going to sing a new song. What's it called? God. The armour of God. Now, we want you to make sure you're standing up and dancing along. Don't just watch it. We want you to be doing the actions and learning the song as well. 
because worshipping God, it pleases him. So, are you ready, Sibby? Are you ready at home? Let's go. Let's sing the armor of God and sing about the armor that God gives us to help us defeat our enemy. We're gonna start by singing the belt of truth. Let's sing it out. That again. These are the tools that God gave to me. Yes, we hope you enjoyed that new song. We want you to remember to make sure you're thinking about your armor and putting your armor on every day so that you can be protected from evil and so that you can defeat evil as well. Now it's time to watch something special. What are we going to watch, Sabella? Super Scuppets! Super Scuppets! It's our first episode. So I want you to put on your thinking caps and your listening ears. And let's see what adventures they get up to today. On a cold and dreary day in Scuppeton, Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm, oh, I got it! When it exploded and gave everyone super power. Thus, the formation of the Super Scuppets, a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth Hope and the Scuppetin Way. These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets. With the Dark Scuppets safely locked away, the Super Scuppets were happily enjoying their time helping the Scuppets of Scuppetin. Thanks, Hector Swift. Don't mention it. Enjoy your pizza. Lunchtime! Are you all ready for it? Yeah! Yay! Happy birthday, Jelly Boots! It's kind of nice having a break from all the scary superhero work, huh? Yeah, I guess. Oh, party lights! Those aren't party lights. That's the alarm. Something's gone wrong. Let's go! What's going on, huh? The dark scuppet has escaped. What? what? He has escaped. 
How? I don't know yet. I am working on pulling up the security footage. Here it is. Oh, no. Hey, Commander Jellybean. Hello, Stark Scuppet. I was wondering if you would want to make a trade. What is trade? I give you something, and you give me something in return. Okay. So, you give me those keys, and I'll give you, um, my socks. Seems like a fair trade to me. Mistos, what were you thinking? I didn't know that the keys opened the doors. Well, what do you think they did? I thought they were snacks. In case you get hungry while you're on duty. Ugh. It's okay, Bastos. We all make mistakes. How about we just make a plan to capture the Dark Scuppet again? How are we going to find him, though? I do not think that will be a problem. Let's go! Get those Scuppets to safety, Hector Swift! On it! He's in my tummy! Take <laughs> 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 <Hey. laughs> So long, Super Scuppets! No! At least everyone is safe for now! What, what are we going to do? He got a lot stronger! So we are going to get stronger. How? Turtles! What? Actually, that's not far off. I have been developing armor. It will make us stronger, and we will be able to stand up to the Dark Scuppets attacks. It's worth a try! What do you need, Professor Orange? Time. Can you keep Scuppetons safe while I work? Yes, we can! Let's go, Super Scuppets! The Super Scuppets kept Scuppetons safe for the day! But with the Dark Scuppet on the loose, they had a big job ahead of them! But never fear, because good will always defeat evil! And the Super Scuppets will never stop fighting to save the day! <laughs> So Bella, what did we just see on the Super Scuppets? Duck one escapes! Oh no! What's gonna happen? We know that the Super Scuppets will defeat him because in the end, good always wins. And that's true for us. Because we have God with us, God helps to protect us and God defeats evil. There is an enemy out there called Satan and he wants us to do bad things and not follow God. But we have God with us and we need to choose to follow God. And in the end, God is so much stronger than him and he will always win. God will always win. So we need to remember to put on our armor. Yes, that's right. We need to put on the armor of God. Now we have a Bible verse about this. But what's happened to our Bible? Carbon in bubbles again. Again. What can we do? Pop them. Are you ready? Get your fingers out. Pop, pop, pop. You gotta pop, 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 pop them. And then we'll be able to see our Bible verse. Bye. Well done, everybody. Now we can see our Bible verse. And our Bible verse is about trusting God and having faith. And it says, 
Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Okay, can you repeat that after me? Be on guard. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be courageous. Be strong. And be strong. That's from 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Now, we're going to learn our Bible verse by singing it. Should everybody stand up again? Of course I could. Get your singing voices ready. La 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> okay, make sure you're singing along. We'll help you remember the Bible verse. Let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. We're gonna start out singing some woes, okay? So I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Let's go. Bible verse tells us to be strong and courageous and with God's armor on we can be strong and courageous because we know that we've got God with us. God has got good plans for our lives and the armor helps us in everything that we do so that we can follow God's plans for our lives. Now Pastor Steve and Winston have even more information for us about the armor of God. So Make sure you're sitting down, you're listening very carefully, and let's see what they have to say. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve, and I'm here with Winston. Hey everyone! Did you guys know that Winston is actually the one who made the Super Scuppets cartoon that you see? Yep, I love making cartoons! So I thought it would be fun to sit down with Winston today and ask him a few questions about the Super Scuppets. Does that sound good, Winston? Sure thing, Pastor Steve! Awesome. So Winston, in the very first episode of the Super Scuppets, we saw that the Dark Scuppet escaped from jail. Yeah, he did! You know, in every superhero story, there's a bad guy! And the Dark Scuppet is our bad guy! Well, it's interesting that you say that, Winston, because that reminds me of the battle that we're in. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we are in a real life battle between good and evil. God is good and our enemy Satan, he's evil. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never seen that battle before. Well, you're right that you haven't seen it because we can't see the battle that's going on with our eyes. But Satan is trying to get us to do bad things, to think bad things and to sin. Oh man, he sounds like the dark scuppet. Oh yeah, he's bad. But you know, there's no reason for us to be afraid. Why not? Well, because God is way more powerful than Satan. You know in the Super Scuppets how you said that good will always win? Yeah, I remember that! Well, that's true in real life. God always wins and He gives us something very special to help protect us and to help us defeat the enemy. Do you remember what Han said he was going to make? Oh yeah! In the next episode, Han is going to make the Super Scuppet armor! 
which I'm sure is going to be really cool. But did you know that God gives us armor too? Really? That's amazing! Oh, it is. God gives us His armor so that we can be protected from Satan's attacks. And next time, we're going to talk more about each piece of the armor and what it does. Neat! I can't wait! Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the Super Scuppets and getting to sit down and talk with Winston. Yeah! And remember that God gives you the armor of God so that you can be protected. And God always wins, so there's no reason to be afraid because God is on your side. That's right. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Just like Pastor Steve said, there is a battle going on between good and evil. Now, we might not always see it, but it is going on. Satan is evil, he's against God, and he will try and get us to sin. But we don't need to be scared or afraid of him because we have somebody with us all of the time, wherever we go and whatever we're doing. Do you know who that is? That's right, we have God with us all of the time. And because he loves us so much, and wants to protect us. He gave us the armor of God so that we can put it on every day and it helps us to defeat evil. Now, we're going to pray. Thank you, Lord God, that you're with us all of the time and that we don't need to be afraid of anything. Thank you that you have good plans for us. We pray, Jesus, that you would remind us and help us to remember to put on your armor that you gave us every single day. We thank you that no matter what is going on, you are with us. In Jesus' name, amen. We've been learning so much today about the armor of God and how God has given up to us so that we can be protected and also so that we can defeat evil. And so now it's our last segment and we are going to be doing a craft together. So why don't you get ready and come and see what we're going to be making today. Well, it's craft time and today we are going to be making an armor bag because after this week, you're going to be making each piece of armor for yourself that you can wear. And the bag is going to be where you can store those pieces. So today, Sabella and I, we have a pocket like this and all we have done is joined two large pieces of paper together, they're A3, with sticky tape along three edges. So if you don't have one of these at home, you can make one yourself with mum or dad's help. Now for today's activity, we have got a strip that says armor and it's also got a line where you write your name. Now if you don't have this printed piece of paper at home then you can just write your name and armor on a piece of paper. So mine will say Kylie's armor, yours will say Sabella's armor. Beautiful. Then I've got some stickers, some glue, some markers, some I've got some paper shapes, some triangles here, some stars and some little symbols. So the first thing that we need to do, Sabella, is write our names on this line. So I'm gonna get a marker. What color would you like? I'd like purple. Purple? I'm gonna go red, nice and bright. Do you know how to write your name? If you don't know how to write your name, you can get mum or dad to help you. Okay. Now we're going to glue those on into the middle of our arm bag. And now we get to decorate our bags. So stickers just get stuck on. These you'll need to use glue. Now for these little symbols, this heart reminds me that God loves me and the hand reminds me that I'm in God's hands. He's protecting me and looking after me. So you can color those in and stick them on. Okay, I'm gonna decorate my bag. The first thing I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this at home, I'm going to put some stickers around the edge of my label as a border. And now I'm going to paste on some stars. Ooh, you're 
gonna draw on yours, are you? What are you drawing, Sabella? Me. Mm -hmm. I've coloured my shapes in. I'm going to stick them on. Now you don't have to use all of your pieces on the front because there's also the back that you can decorate. somewhere to dry and then every week you'll be able to add your armor pieces into it so take good care of it. Now you might remember before that we dressed up Winston in his armor didn't we Sabella? And now what we're going to do is make some play-doh armor for some figurines that we have at home. So what you'll need is some play-doh and then we have, we have a bluey figure and we also have some figures from our doll's house. We've got a board to protect our table. We've got a few little tools that we can use, a rolling pin and fork. And we have a plastic knife from our Play-Doh kit. So what we're going to do is we are going to dress up our figurines in our armor. So the first, thing that I'm going to do, Sabella, is the helmet. Louie has a helmet on. Now, I need to add a belt. Now, Sabella, for a belt, I am going to roll it up like this. And I'm going to wrap it around his body. Okay, next thing I'm going to do are some shoes, two shoes. Do I need this? I need this okay, roll a ball, I might split it in half. I'm going to put shoes on bluey, shoes of peace. I think I'm going to have my shoes. Now I need to put a sword in his hand. Make a sword that might be a bit hard. Yeah. And what goes in the other hand? The shield. The shield. I kind of have to do the shield because this is kind of bad. Now, the only thing that I'm missing is his breastplate of righteousness to protect his heart. We hope that you can have a go at doing this at home. Well, that's everything from us today. We hope you enjoyed learning all about the armor of God. Don't forget to put it on every single day. Now, if you did the craft today, you can send a picture of it to christy at unihillchurch.com.au because we love seeing what you do. Now, let's say goodbye, Savella. Bye. And see you next week.